What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news. If you got a second, like always, appreciate a thumbs up. It goes a long ways. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the red button just below. Before I give you the highlights on what's in this video, I just wanted to give everybody a heads up, or if you haven't heard yet, give you this additional information. Myself, along with Untied Hawaii, is giving away a $600 beater box, which will have various Air Jordan models and other sneakers totaling $600. Or if you don't want that, then you can get a pair of Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cream. Now, I will have a link in the description below for those that have yet to get entered in, and that will take you to a previous video which will give you instructions how to enter. Now, as for a rundown on what's in this video, we have a first look at the Air Jordan 11 Black Stingray. Confirmation that the Air Jordan 9, which we've seen a handful of times, is actually known as LA and will be part of Jordan Brand's All-Star 2018 releases. Some new release information on the Air Jordan 16 CEO as well as the Air Jordan 11 Win Like 82. We also have a first look at the Kendrick Lamar Nike Cortez collaboration, Nike Air Vapor Max Dornbacker, and a mock-up of the Nike Air Vapor Max 97, which is a hybrid model of the Vapor Max and Nike Air Max 97. We also have more from Jordan Brand, more from Nike, little bit from Adidas and one thing from Under Armour. But without wasting too much of your time, I know I took up a lot, let's jump into the news. Under Armour is set to release the Curry 4 Championship Pack, which will debut tomorrow. Now the championship is also known as More Rings and it comes with two pairs. One features white while the other one features black. The white pair has gold accents while the black pair has hits of white. In addition, they also come with a golf divot tool which also is a cigar holder. They also come with two pairs of stance socks and a signed letter that reads, and I want to accomplish a lot more this season. More fun, more rings, more everything. Hopefully we're doing this all again next year. The Curry 4 More Rings aka Championship Pack will be limited and they release tomorrow, October 17th. For those that want to purchase, they'll be available at Foot Locker in New York City on 34th Street, Shoe Palace in Oakland, California, Champ Sports in Chicago, Finish Line Digital App, and UnderArmor.com. With this press release, they didn't give a retail price, but more than likely it'll be $400 or less. During December, the Three Stripes brand will release the Adidas EQT Support 9317 Gore-Tex known as Reflect and Protect. As you can see, they feature a predominant white takeover and they're also being nicknamed Triple White. Featuring weather resistant materials as well as 3M reflective accents, we have Gore-Tex branding on the medial side, while white completes the look once again, landing on the boost midsole. No retail price, but they are expected to drop on December 26. Over the summer, Kanye West was seen wearing this Adidas Yeezy high top shoe at UCLA. Now the rumor has it, this is the basketball model, and I'll be upfront, there is no release information whatsoever. But once again, he was spotted wearing the pair, and they do resemble that of the Yeezy Boost 700 Wave Runner. However, they feature an extended collar. No other information on this pair, but if you're a fan of the Three Stripes brand or Yeezy, let me know your thoughts on this pair in the comment section below. We have another Nike SF Air Force One releasing. This time, it is a women's exclusive, but I feel like anybody can wear the shoe. They're being called Light Bone. It features Light Bone across the uppers as well as leather and ballistic mesh. Although not labeled a high, this is definitely a high top. And you may notice that Nike, although has been releasing a lot of mids, they've been sprinkling in the highs as well. But they're going to drop on November 1st and retail price will be 160. Quick update on the Nike LeBron 15 Ghosts. They were originally scheduled to drop towards the end of this month. However, that has changed and they're going to release on October 17th. Now they will be available at Nike sneakers and the funniest part of all this is it's available via the draw. Now, on Nike's part, this is actually very smart because it will build some hype for it. And without a doubt, these are going to sell out because I do believe they're going to be limited. The fact that they're going to be via the draw, I mean, they're just creating hype for the shoe. But if you do like them, they drop October 17th, like I mentioned, and the retail price will be $185. LeBron James was seen wearing this pair of the Nike LeBron 15 on Cavs Media Day. But we now know that they will release and the actual nickname of the shoe is New Heights. Now I don't know why they're being called New Heights at all, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's him taking his career to New Heights and the Cavs to New Heights. But with that being said, we have like a dark blue that covers the uppers along with hits of red. 
and then on the tongue and heel pull tabs we have Fachetta Tan. If you're feeling this pair you got some time before they drop. They are going to release on December 1st and the retail price will be $185. Official images and a release date leaked for the Nike Air Vapor Max Laceless in Pure Platinum and Black Knight. So first up, we're going to talk about the Pure Platinum pair. I mean, it's pretty simple look. They feature that of Pure Platinum and White. Pure Platinum covers the entire fly knit uppers and White lands on the Nike swoosh and obviously a laceless build. Now the second, which is being called Black Knight, features black and gray. Black is used across the fly knit upper and it also has hits of gray. Now the rest of the shoe comes in black, so both will release on December 1st and the retail price will be $200. Nike is also bringing back another shoe from Back to the Future. It is not the Nike Mag unfortunately, but it is the Nike Vandal High which was worn by Doc Brown and he was seen wearing the shoe in Back to the Future Part 1. Keeping things very clean and OG like, they feature orange across the uppers while constructed with canvas. The same shade lands on the Nike swoosh and that is done with leather. In addition, we have white detailing on the strap and the back heel and then the look is completed with white on the midsole and orange on the outsole. They're set to release on October 21st. Retail price is 90. Now, this release date is for In Clothing, and In Clothing is based in Europe, I believe, so it's possible that a release date could be a little bit later for those that live in the States. Very soon, we'll start to see images release of upcoming models, part of the Nike Doran Becker Freestyle 2017 collection. Images of one model has already started to leak, and that is the Nike Air Vapor Max Doran Becker. This pair, along with the Air Jordan 12 and the Nike Air More of Tempo, are going to release, and probably those three will have the most hype behind it. The shoes was designed by Andrew Meredith. I'm not 100% positive if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, so I do apologize for that. But he is 15 years old, and the inspiration behind the shoe is him being a big fan of the Seattle Seahawks. So you can see it features the team's colorway. You got this bright shade of green as well as blue, and then purple lands on the laces. We also have hashtag I love the fam on the Vapor Max Air unit while Andrew's logo is placed on the tongue and his name lands on the heel with the Vapor Max font. No retail price or release date for this pair, however, in the past we've seen Dornbecker releases take place during November, so more than likely that's when it will happen. Also, you can expect an unveiling of the entire collection in about a week or so. Most of you know Kendrick Lamar has joined Nike and it appears that their first collection is set to release soon. We don't know when and we have a look at one upcoming model and you probably guessed it, it is the Nike Cortez being nicknamed Damn. I'm sure everybody knows this but the Damn nickname comes from his latest album and for this pair they feature red nylon and suede across the uppers, black lands on the Nike swoosh, striped across the midsole, back heel, and hinted on the tongue. On the hill, we have K and L, obviously his initials, damn on the tongue, and TDE is placed on the lace debris for his label. No release information at this time, not even a month, nothing like that. I do believe these will release before 2018. In last week's video, I let you guys know that a Nike Air Vapor Max and Nike Air Max 97 hybrid would release in 2018. And big thanks to Jays Are Dead because he did a mock up for us so we can actually see what the shoe looks like. I was able to describe it to him and I feel like he did a very good job. Even if you like the model or you don't, I posted this image on Instagram last night and a lot of people disliked it. But the actual model will be called the Nike Air Vapor Max 97. This is the metallic gold colorway and it resembles that of the OG Air Max 97. I would just share the catalog image but it was kind of small and somewhat grainy but this is what the retail release will look like unless Nike decides to switch things up last minute which is common. Now the shoes will feature a metallic gold, varsity red, black and white color theme. The Air Max 97 is represented at the top, while the Air Vapor Max is represented on the lower part of the shoe. I don't have a retail price, nor do I know if additional colorways will release. I'll find out more information soon, but this pair is set to drop on May 1st, 2018. I also reported that the Nike Air Max 97 metallic gold, the OG colorway, would return again in 2018. More than likely, this is the reason why. On to Jordan brand and you're going to see a lot of player exclusives on the Air Jordan 32 pop up here and there. This time we have a closer look at the Georgetown and Marquette PE. The Marquette is dressed in shades of blue, we got dark and light blue, 
and we have a little bit of yellow. In addition, we have the Wings branding on one of the tongues and then Marquette's logo on the other. The Georgetown pair is predominantly done in gray and white, but there is a little bit of blue spread throughout. And just like the Marquette pair, this one will feature wings on one of the tongues and the Georgetown logo on the other tongue. Don't expect these two to release, but it is possible that a few sizes may pop up on eBay down the road. Here's a pair that I'm not a fan of whatsoever. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low Swooshless. Now, the difference between this pair and the retail pair is that it's a PE for cause. And I feel kind of weird saying PE for an artist because usually PE means player exclusive, so it ties into sports. But that's here nor there, let's move forward. And I'm still not a fan, even though they are a collaboration with Kaz, but as you can see, they feature a triple white theme. We have tumbled leather across the sides, and then we have his signature XX logo embossed by the hill. These are not going to release. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that these were just a gift to Kaz, but the rumor is that the Kaz Air Jordan 4 in black will debut during 2018. We got some on-feed images of the Air Jordan 13 wheat, which will release on November 24th, for 190. Now I am a fan of the 2004 wheat and I still think Jordan Brand should have released the 2004 pair instead of these. However, these on feet images actually make them look pretty clean. So I'm starting to like them just a little bit more. Now I don't know if they're going to be limited or a GR. If I had to guess, it'd probably be more on the GR side of things. Jordan Brand dropped official images of the Air Jordan 16 CEO, also known as Boardroom. Now, they drop on October 20th and retail price will be 250 Now, you guys already know that this pair will be limited. Only 2,300 pairs will actually release. A lot of people have been asking me where are they releasing at. So I only know of two locations. One of the places is Jordan Brands 32 South State Street, which is also in collaboration with Foot Action. And the second place is Nike Sneakers. Now, thanks to She Likes My Cologne on Twitter, he messaged me and he actually asked Nike if they were going to be available via the draw. And Nike responded with, we can confirm that style will drop via the line. For additional info, check back with us closer to the release date. So the shoes are shown on Nike sneakers, however, it doesn't say that they will be available via the draw. I feel like they should because it would give everybody a fighting chance because man, I know a lot of people want this pair. By now, I'm sure everybody knows that Nike sneakers released the Air Jordan 11 Win Like 82 as a quick strike on Friday. Now the reason they did this was to celebrate the UNC men's basketball team hanging their 2007 national championship banner with the 82 banner that took place during Late Night with Roy. The team was also spotted wearing them on court as well. So with that being said, that's already passed. Obviously, there's not a chance to go back and get them. But the question I have been asked so much through the weekend is if they're still going to release on November 11th. And the answer is yes, they are still going to release. Nike just did this in celebration of UNC, like I mentioned. And they did a surprise quick strike drop, which I actually feel is something good for the brand to do because it stirs things up. And even though I'm a bit salty, I didn't get a pair. I still think it is cool that I had the chance to get them early. But when they drop on November 11th, the retail price will be 220. On screen, we have the Air Jordan 9. Now I shared images of the shoe probably two times by now and they didn't really have a nickname or no connection whatsoever, but that has changed. This is known as LA, and it's for All-Star Weekend 2018, which will take place in Los Angeles, California. They feature a black, summit white, and metallic gold color combination. We have white tumble leather across the mudguard that extends to the heel and also wraps the toe. On the uppers, we have predominant black, which is constructed with new buck. The little bit of metallic gold does land on the heel, and the outsole is somewhat translucent. Now the highlight of the shoe is on the insole and it features a map of Los Angeles. Now we don't have a specific release date. They're expected to drop during February of 2018, but what I've heard is possibly February 18th. Now the retail price will be 190. Over the weekend, we got a first look at the Air Jordan 11 Black Stingray and Jordan Brand, you really messed up on this one. This pair is part of Jordan Brand's Heiress Collection, which is debuting during the holiday season, as you know. And for those that don't know, the Heiress Collection is a women's exclusive. So for anybody that wears above 9.5, you're out of luck. But as you can see, they somewhat have a OVO feel to them, and they come dressed in black, metallic gold, and white. Now, the reason that they're being called Black Stingray is because it features Stingray texture across the mudguard that wraps the entire hill. 
Now, I'm not 100% positive on this, but it appears that new buck is used on the uppers. Metallic gold lands on the Jumpman branding, 2-3 on the heel, and hinted on the tongue. We have white across the midsole, and a black translucent, well, I should say somewhat translucent outsole. They're releasing on November 24th, which is Black Friday, and the retail price will be $220. They will be available in extended grade school sizing, which will go up to 9.5 wide. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. What I'm feeling from this video, I like the Nike Vandal High Doc Brown. I also like the Nike Vapor Max Dornbecker and the Kendrick Lamar Nike Cortez collaboration. From Jordan brand, I'm starting to like the Air Jordan 13 Wheat a bit more, but not enough to purchase at this point. The Air Jordan 16 CEO, I definitely like that pair, but once again, it looks like I'm not going to be able to purchase. This is going to be a limited drop and probably crazy. The Air Jordan 9 LA All-Star Edition. Um, it's okay. I feel like it's a little plain for me. I'm not really liking the white on the lower part of the shoe. I feel like it probably would have been better if they made it black on the lower part and then white on the uppers with the metallic gold. And the Air Jordan 11 Win Like 82, that's another dope pair. And the Air Jordan 11 Black Stingray. I feel like Jordan Brand messed up big time by releasing them as a women's exclusive. I feel like they could have done that still, but 10 and up, I feel like they should have released them in men's sizing. But that does it for me. Leave a comment below and let me know from this video what you liked or what you disliked. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.